Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello to all everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you for this session. SBR group accounts. SBR group accounts. Students, the agenda, agenda of this series of videos is about the way to shape up your SBR question number one answer. The way to shape up your answer about group accounts. Students, whenever you are, whenever you will attempt SBR exam and you will face the question number one of the SBR accounts, SBR exam. So examiner can ask you the question either calculation or accounting adjustment with pre-populated spreadsheets. Or number two, furthermore, explanation about the accounting concept of group accounts and the explanation of the workings. These two possible scope of the requirement the examiner could ask with the exam. Number one, calculation or accounting adjustment with pre-populated spreadsheet pre-populated means examiner will give you the consolidated account either balance sheet either income statement or the cash flow that's called pre-populated spreadsheet i must this i must say here if you haven't watched about the video related to sbr changes first of all you have to pause here and watch that particular video about the scope of changes so number one calculation or accounting adjustment with pre-populated spreadsheet number two examiner can ask you an explanation about the accounting concept and the workings uh, this is what the possible this is what the possible examiner requirement let's take an overview a sample exam student this right now the screen is mentioning the sbr international sample exam 2 september 2023 september 2023 and this is what about the main screen the left hand side is about the exhibits The left hand side is about exhibit details. One, the number one detail about the third company. Number two, it's about Pendler company. And number three is about draft consolidated statement of PNL. This is draft statement. Draft statement. So with exhibit, the draft statement is available, but the cells are locked here and you will face the same with the exhibit, the draft accounts, the cell are locked. Then requirement and then word processor and the spreadsheet. With the response option spreadsheet, this is what about the pre-populated consolidated accounts pre-populated means already populated already designed consolidated accounts here the consolidated income statement examiner can ask the balance sheet or cash flow and very next very next to the income statement here already mentioned the place of workings so you have to you have to show all of your workings here. And what examiner will expect to you people? Examiner will expect that these accounts and with the available details on the exhibits actually require some adjustment. Do remember these are consolidated accounts having some missing figures or required some adjustment. 
so what examiner expect to you examiner will expect to you to make adjustment for example there are four adjustment it just number one you have to work out for adjustment one then adjustment two then three then four all of, of the adjustment all of these adjustments you have to show workings at this side at this point workings for example working one you have to put the workings explanation of the workings or the calculation of the workings working two working three working four and simultaneously incorporate the things accordingly the impacts on pnl here and after these adjustments you have to mention corrected or adjusted consolidated income statement you have to mention that corrected income statement and you have to plus minus after these adjustment net figure and then your corrected income statement will be countable as the right consolidated income statement or the balance sheet or the cash flows. So this is what the examiner will expect you. And with this session, we will practice some question for the same. Candidates, students, here examiner can ask you like this. The possibility, it's about explanation and the calculation with pre-populated spreadsheet. Like A1, I'm not reading the complete requirement, just highlight, just read the highlights. Using Exhibit 1, explain and calculate. Means, you need to make calculations for something, for example, calculation of the gain or loss or disposal of shares and also examiner expect to explain so calculate and explain a2 explain without calculation so second thing is that only explanation the accounting principles not any calculation so explanation here without calculations. So principles you need to explain here. <clears throat> Numbers B, using pre-populated spreadsheet response, revise consolidated PNL. That is the 14 marks question. So examiner will ask you out of 30 marks question, 12 to 14 marks related to pre-populated spreadsheet response, considering the adjustment with another requirements like A1 and 2. So this is what the shape of the requirements. Sir, what else examiner can ask? Examiner can ask with this group account question, other than group accounts, other than group accounts, other than group accounts, other than group accounts means another adjustment like IFRS 9 compound financial instrument, independent requirement 4 to 5. So it's possible. So this is what about the shape you can develop in your mind that if I'm going to examination hall and open the question one, examiner can ask, ex I can expect the examiner will ask the calculation with pre-populated response option, either balance sheet, either income statement or cash flow. Plus, the calc other calculations with explanation, explanation about calculation, explanation about principles. Further, any other syllabus area other than ethics with this question mark so that is the point so i hope it's very clear to you what examiner will expect from you
now come on students let's start practice questions practice questions these practice questions actually having the standard of only f7 these are f7 caliber accounting uh, sorry f7 caliber questions but the format but the format we will use here about sbr so practice question number 1 is about consolidated statement of financial position some spelling mistake not cs pf that is consolidated statement of financial position csfp working with pre populated spreadsheet number 2 cis consolidated income statement working with pre populated spreadsheet question 3 goodwill and complications explanation calculation with explanation so these practice questions will be available with this series of session although recording will also be available don't worry so let's start with the practice question this question you people already have you people already have I have already shared with you. If you are not able to get these questions till now, you can get these PDFs from from the drive link as meant, as available with the video below side of the video. That's link available. If this video available with the YouTube, so read the description. You will be you will be able to find the documents from the link structure. Okay, so let's start with the question. Practice question number one: Consolidated statement of financial position. Let's start. First of all. We will start the question. We will start to read the question by reading the requirement. Requirement: Make adjustment. Make adjustments to the draft consolidated statement of financial position at 31st December X8 in order to prepare a corrected statement. Corrected statement of financial position. So. Number one, with the exhibit, with the exhibit, these drafted consolidated statement of financial position will be available. The date is 31st December X8. 31st December X8. Let's read the question. Painter owns 80% of Singer and 40% of Arker. So 80% it's about the subsidy, 40% is about associate. A draft consolidated statement financial position for 31st December X8 has been prepared as follows. These are consolidated accounts, non-current assets, investment in ARCO, that's associate, goodwill, that's 70 current assets share capital retain earning consolidated retain earnings non current non controlling interest respect to with respect to subsidy liabilities and this shows the working and this is what about the exhibits the exhibits number 1 painter means parent acquired its shares in singer that subsidy seven years ago when singers retain earnings were 520,000 retain earnings 
acquisition gave rise to goodwill which has been recognized in the draft consolidated statement of financial position this was determined to be fully impaired 31st december exit however no adjustments have been made to reflect this that means the goodwill calculated here or goodwill reflected here 31st december x870 not year sorry it's impaired but not adjusted with the consolidated accounts so you have to recall your concept what should be the adjustment for the goodwill impairment if the question is about full goodwill math the very next line is about nci in draft financial position is the fair value of nci in singer equation rate so students quickly do reply me recall what should be the adjustment need to made here or show the workings about the impairment of goodwill if it's about full goodwill method yes come on so here goodwill should be impaired credit and debit should be consolidated retain earning sharing of the parent and nci sharing of the nci that's good then again 31st december x8 singers retain earning 3.4 million and those relating to post acquisition period are included in the consolidated retain earning okay so here and retain earning given by uh, with respect to the subsidy singers reported an amount payable to painter in respect of goods deliver 110000 in separate financial statement same amount were reported as receivable in the painter separate financial statement so that means this is intra group intra group this is what about intra group that is about intra group transactions and intra group current accounts this is about goodwill impairment so intra group current current account means not affect to the retain earning or profit and loss but liability debit receivable credit that's a point another painters acquired shares in its shares occur 600000 600000 first january exit first january exit that is about the reporting date 31st december exit so the investment in associate it's one year ago when occur share capital was 800000 and retain earning were 400000 that good the fair value of the net asset 1.4 million and the difference between the carrying amount and fair value of net asset of occur was attributed to property with the remaining useful life of 20 years so here the details about investment associate the fair value adjustment the very much important no entries have been made in the draft consolidated financial statement in respect to alcohol other than to include investment in cost 
from painters separate financial position at 31st december ex rate occur had retained earnings of 3.6 million there were no indications during the year that the investment in occur was impaired so no impairment but there is some adjustment about investment in associate so this is what about investment in associate that's about equity accounting and adjustments and adjustments like fair value adjustment so this is what about a very basic question here now let's start now let's start the working assume that you are sitting in the examination hall and you have decided to work with to work out what the requirement of pre populated requirement with pre populated accounts this is what about consolidated statement of financial position so this these accounts will be available as spreadsheet and we have to incorporate the workings here for example the first working i wanted to work out that is called goodwill impairment the first working is about goodwill impairment goodwill impairment and you said that this goodwill impairment is about working what okay come on so you said here the sir about the goodwill impairment number 1 you will have to mention about goodwill impairment number 1 you mentioned that the total value of impairment is 70 total value and you have to allocate as follows number 1 nci how much the nci 20% and parent 80% so first you have made this working now you need to incorporate this adjustment promptly so goodwill that you have to mention 70 minus 70 and adjustment minus 56 and nci minus so that's just adjustment you have made here i hope it's clear to all of you it's very simple it's very simple do reply me is this clear all of you the second adjustment i wanted to incorporate here
that's what now the next adjustment the first one is done now now the next adjustment is about intra group current accounts so intra group balances intra group balances sometimes you don't need to mention you don't you don't need to mention working instead directly put up the adjustment like the intra group transactions very simple current asset minus 110 110 yes Hundred and ten and current liability hundred and ten. It's very simple. After that, after that, the adjustment related to subsidy it's all over. No further adjustment. No further adjustment. No further adjustment. But moving towards, moving forward, I personally suggest we have to close the thing about the NCI. We have to close the thing about NCI. Sir, what do you mean by NCI? NCI. <clears throat> With this account, NCI value is 190. But here we need to incorporate some adjustment that is about NCI share in profit. NCI share in profit. NCI share in profit. Because here examiner mentioned that NCI in the draft statement of financial position is the fair value of NCI in subsidy at acquisition date. Here NCI shows at acquisition date. But we need to incorporate the NCI value or adjust the figure for NCI post acquisition profit. So number two, that was a mistake. NCI sharing post acquisition. So how to calculate NCI sharing post acquisition? So we will work out subsidy retain earnings now now means now means reporting date thirty first december x aid thirty first december x aid subsidies retain earning three point four million thirty first december x eight Three point four. That's mentioned thirty four hundred. And subsidies retain earning at acquisition. And what is the date of acquisition? The date of acquisition seven years ago. Retain earning five hundred and twenty thousand. Five hundred and twenty. So post acquisition retain earnings 
that's equals to 280 and ci sharing percentage that is 20 percent that's equals to 576 so this is another adjustment of nci sharing so can someone reply here what should be the double entry just for the knowledge what should be the debit or what should be credit if in consolidated accounts nci sharing of subsidies profit not adjusted and now we are going to adjust it it's adjust that profit what should be the debit and what should be the credit to reply me the transaction should be if once again the very important statement if parent consolidated the subsidy accounts if the parent consolidated the subsidies account if parent consolidated the subsidies account and not adjusted the nci that means the parent sharing of retain earning is higher so we need to adjust that consolidated retain earning should be debited means cre debit means cre become reduces and nci will increase that is credit so transaction will be thus cre debit nci credit that's the adjustment that's the adjustment that is the adjustment we need to put so i hope that it's very much clear to all of you can you please reply me is this clear nci sharing in profit yes so cre should be reduced and nci should be increased that's the adjustment we required here okay i'm going to explain this adjustment once again watch this point very carefully students if i ask you that a parent acquire the subsidy and then post acquisition post acquisition profit of subsidy post acquisition profit of subsidy if parent acquired the subsidy and the subsidy earned some profit after acquisition so what should be the entry the entry should be net asset debit credit consolidated retain earning with the parent sharing and credit nci sharing nci with nci sharing because whatever the profit of the subsidy post acquisition profit parent only have a right of the limited percentage but nci having their own percentage so parent percentage and ci percentage here the adjustment is about that read it carefully the nci nci in the draft statement of financial position is fair value in subsidy at acquisition date so here the consolidated accounts reflect retain earning 
includes parent oh sorry uh, value of non controlling interest the parent acquired the subsidy 7 years ago 7 years ago but not adjusted the post acquisition profit with nci all the profit of the subsidy includes with this 580 this 580 includes parent profit subsidy profit associate sharing but the subsidy profit the the parent should incorporate the percentage that is 80 percent so what we should do now first of all we need to calculate what is the post acquisition profit here is the subsidy post acquisition retained earning or profit means at acquisition 520 from where from where we get this figure that's 520 acquisition date and 3400 that's reporting date reporting date 3400 here 3400 34 December exit that's 3400 so that means post acquisition retain earning 280 NCI sharing 576 what should be the double entry NCI should increase 576 and parent sharing of the profit we need to adjust by 576 so CRE debit NCI credit is this clear all of you So that's the adjustment we have made. 576 retain earning reduces NCI increases 576. That is what about the adjustment related to subsidy. Now, next point, parent it's about the associate it's about the associate what about the associate painter acquired shares in arcar for 600000 first january exit when the arcar share capital was 800000 retain earning were 400000 and about fair value net asset 1.4 million and the difference between the carrying amount and the fair value of net asset of occur attributed to the property with remaining useful life of 20 years here no entries have been made in draft consolidated financial statement respect to occur other than those include investment and cost the painter separate financial statement means in consolidated accounts, associate investment in Arkar only reflects 600, 600. 600. Only reflects the 600. This 600. Only reflect the 600. That is the point. Only reflect the 600 no equity accounting here so what we should do what the adjustment required for the investment investment equity accounting number one we need to identify or calculate post acquisition retained earning of associate post acquisition retained earning of associate and then identify the sharing as well first number two ex their adjustment about the investment and equity like subsidy also need to identify any adjustment like the excessive depreciation in simple word i must say here investment in associate
investment in associate. Number one, cost of investment. Then, post acquisition profit sharing. Then, adjustment like excessive depreciation. Like excessive depreciation. Like impairment of investment associated. Here, no adjustment for impairment. Question mentioned here, no adjustment. There were no indication during the year the investment in our curve was were impaired. So no adjustment. Now, we have to incorporate the another point. So here required the adjustment for segmentation profit and excessive depreciation. So third adjustment, associate profit. Number one, associate retain earnings. Associate retain earnings. Sorry. Associate retain earning at date now 31st December X8. Now thirty first December X eight. <clears throat> So how much the value at 31st December X8? Here the value that is 3.6 million. Here 3600. And associate retain earning at acquisition or investment. When we originally invest that was about 400 400 so what is about the post post investment post acquisition retain earnings and sharing the sharing is 40%. Is this right? So what should be the transaction here? Debit investment in associate. Credit retain earnings. I hope is this clear all of you now the point is that associate profit associate profit One two eight zero investment debit and retain earning credit. That's a point. Can you please apply me? Is this clear, all of you? Another important point and the last adjustment. Number four. Number four, additional depreciation, 
एडिशनल डेप्रिसिएशन फेयर वैल्यू एडजस्टमेंट फेयर वैल्यू ऑफ नेट एसेड एट एक्वेशन फेयर वैल्यू नेट एसेड नेट एसेड एट Reporting, reporting means thirty first December X eight. So now listen very carefully. What I am saying here, very important. Number one. Normally, what you people do with the F seven, that is about carrying amount of net asset at acquisition. Then you incorporate fair value adjustments. Then, for example, other than this question, for example, carrying amount of net asset hundred, fair value adjustment is twenty. So this is. This one twenty called fair value net asset at acquisition. So carrying amount net asset fair value adjustment one twenty. But what if if I say that if I say that this is the balancing figure. This is the balancing figure. what i mean to say if we wanted to know what is the fair value adjustment then how to calculate how to calculate first we need to identify what is the fair value of net asset at acquisition and carrying amount of net asset at acquisition the difference of 20 will be the fair value adjustment so same thing i i am doing here fair value net asset at acquisition and carrying amount of the net asset at acquisition carrying amount of the net asset at acquisition same work now come on What is the fair value of net asset? <clears throat> fair mention the fair value of its net assets. It's one point four million. Number one, fair value of net asset. That is fourteen hundred. And carrying amount of net asset at acquisition, carrying amount of the net assets, can we identify the carrying amount of the net asset? Yes, we can identify. How? The share capital at acquisition. Sorry. The share capital was eight hundred thousand, and retain earning at acquisition four hundred. Eight hundred plus retain earning four hundred. So that means eight hundred plus four hundred, twelve hundred. So, if the fair value of net asset fourteen hundred, carrying amount of net asset twelve hundred, what will be the fair value adjustment? 
this is fair value adjustment and this fair value adjustment belongs to depreciable non-current asset. This fair value adjustment, fair value net asset was attributed to a property with a remaining useful life of 20 years. 20 years. So post acquisition, excessive depreciation divided by Twenty and sharing is about forty percent. So this is about four that we need to adjustment, and this is about additional depreciation share. What should be the entry? Debit and credit. Because associate account is not consolidated. So we just credit investment in associate. And debit is CR. Can you please apply me? Is this clear to all of you? Can you please apply me? Is this clear to all of you? That's good. Now, the next point. Additional depreciation associated. Additional depreciation associated. Yes, come on. CRE debit investment associated credit. CRE debit. That is it. That. This is the complete adjustment. The adjustment is done. Now the point is that, sir, if it's adjustment is over, then we need to work out for corrected SFP. Corrected asset. How to work out with the corrected corrected asset statement of financial position? Simple is equal to sum. This one simple. Control C. Control B. Now come on. This is 500-1876-6170. Current asset. And that is the point of total. And triple six. Then share capital retain earning. This is total eight to seven six. Yeah. 
is now the balance sheet has become bad. Okay, class, that is the point. That's nine triple six. Examiner will never ask about. Examiner will never ask to make the consolidated balance sheet. But this is the point. But this is the point. Candidates, can you please reply me? Students, reply me. Is this clear, all of you? Have you got an idea how the pre populated working will proceed? How the pre populated working will proceed? Is this good? Are you happy with this for this practice question? Students, very good. Students, this document includes more questions that consolidated income statement. You have to work out for this. Number two, more question about explanation of the goodwill. Number three, and one more, even the fourth one, more questions. I strongly suggest, first of all, all of you must have to complete the practice question number two. You will get the recording of the practice number two three and four as well but first you need to attend first you need to attend then compare the answers i will share all the things including video all the things so promise me that you have to attend that particular question no need to submit i will share you the videos of question two, question three, question four. Just uh, check your answer. But by tomorrow end, you have to complete all remaining three questions. Is this clear? So that is all about the today's session because I have made a practice for this question. Now, two, three, and even fourth one, you have to attempt by yourself. I will share this Excel file, all the files, don't worry. Okay, thank you very much. Take care a lot.